Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and this is Junk Journal Craft Chat. We're going to be contesting away this wonderful piece of ephemera from 1887. Um, lovely handwritten calligraphy from days gone by from the West India and Dry Goods. Um, office of E.G. Hodgson. So we'll call this the um, the West India paper. So if you win this today, which means that you put your uh, you put your comment in last week's junk journal craft chat on Friday, because that's where I'm going to be pulling the winner from. Uh, then all you need to do, if you win, you uh, send me your name and mailing address, and I will mail this off to you. So it's called the West India Paper. And just give me the date, your name, and mailing address, and we are good. Okay, so, oh, um, dropping things. Going to be answering crafty questions today that you have from YouTube, as well as decorating some buttons. I thought this might be fun. And I think I'm going to grab a little bit of paint, and, um, oh, that's pretty. Let's bring that out. A little bit of, I'm just going to finger paint today. I'm just goofing around. These are just things I have on my desk. I've got some gilding. I've got some paint, um, stickles. I mean, let's just see what happens, where this goes. Uh, I would like a Q-tip though. That would be good. Because I think this painting job will go pretty quickly. And it's pretty easy and it's pretty fun. So it kind of hits all the highlights. So let's give this a go. And let's paint a button. All right, so here we have your, let me zoom in a little bit. So just typical little button. Maybe I'm gonna get, what do I have here? Anything, I'll take any paper. All right, here's a paper. I'm gonna use it as something to squirt ink on. Not much, just a little bit. And there's the button in question. We'll put you here. And we're gonna grab one of these round-ended Q-tips. And I'm just going to put, I'm going to make you white. The make you white inside. You can also spray paint these, which works well. And that's another way to do it. And we'll just let that little guy dry. We'll do a couple white ones. And some of these are really pretty colors on their own, very antique -y. But I'm um, just making, I've got so many of those, I think it's okay that I make some white ones. And you can use, um, tweezers if you have them and I do so if it can hold the world steady while I do whilst I do this stay steady world oh yeah okay we'll try that again mice and men right oh yeah nope okay I guess I just lightly naps not working at all my fingers might be better uh, there we go and I think I'm gonna color the edges, so I'm not too worried about getting white on the edges. Okay, there we go. Got a couple of those, and here's a red one. Maybe I'll, I'll turn this one a different color as well. Let's see. Maybe I'll turn this one gold. How about that? Let's put a little gold down here. Is this open? I don't know. Looks like it's been open at some point. Yes. Yes, it has. This is metallic acrylic paint, folk art, and gold. Oh, there we go. Oh. That looks, looks good. We'll give it a gold. All right, just going to go over that. It's pretty easy to do. It doesn't take much paint. Your paints will last forever doing this. And it has a little bit of the red showing through. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Um, and I can always go do another, another coat, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, here's a more modern button. And maybe we'll do, no, well, let's gold that one up, too. Why not? So I've got some gold paint on this one. Oh, that's lots. Okay. That, oh, hey. Oh, please land the wrong way. Of course. But not bad. Not bad. Okay. We'll let that one dry. We'll use the white end again and maybe come along and put a little more white down with those little areas that don't look as white. And while that's drying, I will ask a question. Okay. Or you will ask a question. Um, let's see what you're thinking. Let's go to your world. Um, first question, Crazy Mad Crafter says, as always, I love your videos. This question is for everyone. Am I the only one that talks to Pam out loud when she is creating? I know that probably sounds weird, but I'm hoping others do it and I am not crazy. Well, I'm talking to you guys and you're not here, so I'm as crazy as you are. How about that? 
Um, Lily Creates says, Hi Pam and hi friends. I love these pockets. I have several ideas. Do you glue them in or clip them in? And that was um, those little five pocket things. These things. And you could glue or well, let me back up a bit so you can see it. You can glue or clip these onto a page. I would probably glue this like at this shape, um, either L-shaped so you can tuck something big behind here or U-shaped and you can cut, tuck a bookmark or something like that in there. That would be cool. You could also clip them on if you want to decorate the back. You can also do that. So those are very fun. Read a Donnelly flip. Yeah, cool, fun times, huh? All right, so we got that one. And... Then we have uh, Charlene Anderson says, Hello, Pam and Sunny. Pam, what do you believe are the absolute essential tools for junk journaling? Well, I would say on my desk right now, since I'm, these are my absolutely favorite tools, my metal ruler, my bone folder, and my Crocodile 2 Big Bite. Those would probably be my favorite favorite. And everything else beyond that would be extra bonus, superfluous, superfluous luxury. You know, I'm going like beyond scissors. I, I really do like these scissors though because they squeeze as opposed to pull apart. It's just easier on my hands. Um, oh, and we can't forget sanding block. Yeah, I really like that guy. Um, oh, and there, here's another big one. Paddle brush for the stenciling. I love this condensed paddle brush. Um, love that. I, you know, it's actually it's what's on my desk. I guess that is actual proof in the pudding. My craft knife. I do like my craft knife a lot. I really do. And I, I think that pretty much handles everything um, of the biggies. Yes, there you go. Uh, Shelly Williams, where do you get your gilding paste? Uh, this the brand, they don't make it anymore, but you can buy gilding paste in other brands, which I think is a satisfactory. Um, Pentart makes a bunch of different gilding pastes. Um, eBay, Amazon, Etsy. Uh, they make this wax paste, which is, this one happens to be uh, gold. All right, I'm going to sniff it for you. Oh, it does smell like orange essential oil. So they also use that orange essential oil base, like my favorite little brand, which I can't find right now. Um, but yes, you can, you can use those. Maybe we'll use this one today to see how it works. Okay. So those are drying, drying, drying. Um, maybe we'll put, oh, I, I put the wrong color in the wrong one. Of course I did. Of course. And don't worry if you cover the holes with the paint, cause you can just poke them through with a little needle. No big deal. This is very relaxing. I'm like zenning out right now on that. Maybe I'm going to come around the edges and gold this up. How about that? I'm not even going to use the gilding. I'm just going to paint it gold. So you can do it with gold paint. Here's another good gold paint. Uh, whoop, where is it? Here it is. This basics one, this would go forever. Who makes it? Liquitex. That's a good gold paint that you'll never run out of this. You'll have like it forever. Hundreds of years, I tell you. All right. Oops, a little thick there. It's okay. Just painting buttons. Yep. So it's just a calm day in the neighborhood, painting buttons. It's very relaxing. Okay. I didn't stay in the lines there, but it happens. We'll try. Oh, I need a new Q-tip. Okay, so I'm going to go with the pointy end Q-tip as opposed to the roundy end Q-tip. So i got to get in there where I goofed it. See if I can fix it or I'll make it worse, one or the other. Oh, I think I'm fixing it. Look at that. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see that well, but not bad. So you can repair. Okay, look at that. Not bad, huh? I know. Huh, you weren't seeing that coming. Okay, how about this? How about we dip that in here and we go in the, the, the holes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh? And now we'll flip it over and we'll go in the gold and we'll do these little holes in gold. Now they may pop you know, as the paint dries, or they might not. I don't know, but we can still go through with the, the um, needle. Okay. There we go. And let's go back to the white side. Put some here. 
Oh, that was a big one. I didn't do that as well. That's what you get when you don't wear your glasses. You get that. Well, let's come back in here, see if we can... Do we need... Huh, that's a shine, not a... That's not white on there. Okay, that's okay, though. Maybe I'll put some other dots on here. Maybe I'll just do random. Oh, look, I've got gold and white dots happening there. That's kind of cool. There. Okay. Very nice. I think I need a little more gold there. I can see it right on that edge. There. Oh, that's white. Oh, I think I dipped the wrong end. Yes. Yet again, she dipped the wrong end. That's okay. That's good. Okay. So we have some decorated buttons. I know they're going to dry. Um, let's see what the next question is. The next question is, um, Jacqueline Short said, yes, everything is a craft supply, but does anyone else rescue things from the bin? The bin is my go-to place. I love the bin. Who doesn't love the bin? Are there non-bin lovers out there? Identify yourselves. Um, the bin is a great place to get packaging, to get junk mail, to get ribbons, um, twine, envelopes. Oh yes, oh yes. The bin is the magic motherland of the junk journal maker. Um, you don't have to use bin stuff. Some people feel freaked out by uh, garbage and um, some people are intrigued by recycling, reusing, repurposing. So you can make things that are new and you make, can make things that are from old things. And um, I think it's all good. And as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Um, Maria Port Portillo Portillo says, Hi Pam, I love all your videos. Question for you, do you have any other hobbies? <laughs> um, I like yoga and I was playing pickleball for a while, but I hurt my elbow, so I'm waiting for that to heal. But once that's healed, I will hopefully one day return to the pickleball court because that was a lot of fun. I like to beach walk. I like to walk my dog. Um, I like to explore, go on hiking. Um, uh, just investigate new areas, things like that. That's always fun. Um, I need to have some different, more hobbies, right? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Because hobbies are fun. And, um, but I, there is so much variety in the junk journal world. Like today I'm playing with buttons. You know, yesterday I was uh, making a junk journal signature thing. Um, the other day I was making little pockets, so I feel like I'm getting a lot of variety out of this particular craft, um, and that satisfies my need for variety and, and uniqueness and differentness and uh, differentness. Um, uh, who makes up these words? Nobody I know. Okay, next question. Uh, Rochelle Ellerbeck says, where can we find the pencils? I love the pink one. Oh, um... My, she's talking about the painting book pages, easy ideas with book pages. I think I was showing painting and colored pencil examples on how to just draw things on book pages. And um, where are those? Here they are. I think it was paint. Unless she's talking about the Stabilo pencils. That might be what she's talking about. Um, all the black and when I added water. Uh, they're aquarellable Stabilo pencils. They do come in different colors, but my, my favorite bar none, if you could only buy one, would be the black one. And uh, here's what it looks like. That's how you spell it. Stabilo 8046. And you can get them on Amazon, I believe on Etsy, eBay, places like that. But, oh, here's an idea. Oh, I like that one. Um, I wonder if you just picked up one of these and dipped it in the paint. That's right, here's a nondescript. We're not too worried about you in the grand scheme of things. Let's see if we can even pick you up. Let's just put you in there. Move you around. Let's see what happens. Pick you up again. Come on, baby. Come to mama. Oh, let me bring you in so you can see. Okay. Yes, yes, somebody closed their car door, Sonny. That's right. Full scale alert. Yep. The world must know this happened. 
Wow, that's fancy. What happens if I put it in gold now? Oh, oh that's kind of cool. I wonder what that's going to dry like. It's kind of tie-dye cool in a marbly sort of way. Let's see what happens to that. Which put you there? That was about the easiest project I've ever done. Whoop, can you see it? Nope, there it is. Um, that was kind of fun. So if you have one of these nondescripts, you know what I mean? That doesn't do much on its own. All right, we'll try it again. Oh, you can't see. Hang on. Yeah, get this little guy down here. Not such a little guy. I'm going to do it opposite. This time I'm going to put him in the gold. Now I'm playing. You just caught me playing. Okay, that's what I got. Now I'll put it in the white. Oh, way over there. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Floating in. Okay, that's kind of weird. Not bad, but weird. We'll put you down there and see what you'll dry like. And we'll take a look at you later. How about that? Now we're, we're really starting to have fun. Um, oh, this might look good in gold. Yeah, let's see what that one looks like. Might as well use up the paint, right? We have it here. Okay, there you go. That looks kind of pretty. I like that. Put you down. Oh, mother. Yeah. Oh, not bad. I think we saved it. Um, so that's how fast they can get colored. Pretty cool. How about this guy? You're not doing anything today. You? Oh, I'll show you. Okay, one of those. In the white. Oh. Okay. That looks kind of cool, cool unto himself. Maybe just a touch in the gold. Partial. Partial gold, partial white. Maybe more white. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of weird, but we'll let, it, we'll let it dry and see what happens. I think I need to clean out his one side a little bit. Ugh, Ugh it might be a disaster. Maybe we'll just color them all in. There we go. So I just fix them. We'll just color him completely like it was entirely planned that way. I'll put more gold in there because I have more gold. Where are you? Are you there? Yeah. There we go. Now you're looking pretty. There we go. Now I gotta go little gold button. Okay. So we're gonna go on to, where are we? The next question. Pama, okay we did that one. Nope, nope. Um, we got the pencil. Amazon, Etsy, eBay, uh, Wawa Hine, Wawa Heine, not sure. Love your flowers. You make it look so easy. Um, she's talking about these. It is easy. I showed you how easy it was. It's so easy. You can do this. You can totally do this. I know you can. Yeah, just painting, feeling the paintbrush, make the petal. Um, I went to the Amazon store to purchase the Aquarellable but I'm not seeing it in your shop. Maybe I'm not looking in the right place. It is there. It's a pack of three. It's somewhere near the colored pencils and that kind of thing, I think. It's near like the pens and the pencils. But if you can't find it, just look in the regular Amazon or Etsy or eBay or something like that, and it, it will come up. It's definitely out there, and it's a thing, and you can get them in different colors too. I think I brought navy blue and white and brown as well just to play with them, and they do work, but bar none. The, the black one is the cornerstone to happiness. Okay. I think, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. And what else do we have? This reminds me of some Yadro that I have. Um, sculpture stuff, like ceramic stuff that my mom gave me. The colors, the gold and the white and the blue. Um, okay, then we have... Um... <laughs> Uh, okay. Isn't it really great to be ambidextrous? Um, you are my best go-to journal artist. This is from Pat Morton. Thank you for all these wonderful ideas. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I do my best to be ambidextrous. I'm not really, but if I have to be, I'm, I'll force myself, and that's probably a good thing to try and train yourself to do. And somebody suggested that because I have an injured elbow in, in pickleball, my right elbow, I should use my left arm to play pickleball. So we'll see. We'll just see about that. <laughs> um, Linda Vasquez says on the video painting book page is kind of kind of like that shading. Hmm. Also, Pam, have you used diamond art leftovers on your journals or has anyone else used them? 
Outpostians. Oh, that's great. I love that name, Outpostians. Um, love that. Thank you, Pam. Um, she was talking about this shading technique where I took the pencil and what on earth was that? Hazed around it and then added water and it gave this big blur effect. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. Uh, this one I just drew around. I, I forget, I had three different techniques. This was maybe a light drawing. This is a heavier drawing of the pencil around. And I did add water. I did add water and I did add water. So there you go. What else? Um, let's see. I have never diamond painted, so I'm, I'm sure, why not? Everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. I have paint all over my hands. Did anybody notice? Um, <laughs> Linda Skinner said, Sunshine, your mustache is looking good. Have you tried to wax it to make it a handlebar? I think, I think he ought to do that. That would, be, that would be just dandy. Okay, I think it is time. It is now time to present the winner of the West India Dry Goods Contest. Let me just set that up. Hold on. Okay, here we are. And I am going to now... Oh, I, look at the paint. Oh, my new fingernails. Huh. Oh, well. Hope it comes off. It probably won't. It's acrylic. Oh, no, it is coming off very easily. Okay, thank God. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Boop. And, oh, that didn't do much, did it? No. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Apparently I have to do it again. Something, we seem to have an issue. Let me, let me fix this. Okay, I'm back. And here we go. There we go. And we're rocking and we're rolling. Is it you? Is it you? Is it Jennifer Walker? Congratulations. Um, there you go. So you are the winner of the West India Dry Goods uh, 1887 piece of ephemera. And you know what to do. Just give me the date you won, uh, what you won, the West India paper, and your name and address. And I will mail that off to you. Congratulations. We seem to have somebody in the building who has something to say. Hello. Uh, Mom, it's a little close. Okay. I'll back it up. Back it up. Should be better. All right. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine Cup Pup Reporter here reporting to you from the Paper Outpost yet again. Okay, so we would just like to say that we are very happy for Jennifer Walker that won the West India ephemera piece. It will be on its way to you as soon as we hear from you. And it is getting cooler here. We have smidgens of fall. Fall means October and Halloween and dried leaves. And there's still squirrels and they're burying nuts. And Sunny gets to bark at them, burying their nuts. And um, what else are you barking at? Birds. I bark at birds for no particular reason. They need to be barked at. Somebody has to bark at them, and apparently it's going to be me because nobody else is up for the job. Nobody, I tell you. They come by, mom doesn't move. That's right. She doesn't move with the squirrels either. Nothing. Not even a foot wiggle. Nothing. So I got to handle things. Make sure the homestead is safe. Protect the area. I am security dog first and foremost. I know I don't look like much, but I pack a wallop. <laughs> You do, do you? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> okay. You're growing up so fast. I know. Well, you are curling up in me. You're like, you're like, there. You're like a you. Oh, I'm turning over. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you go. I know. That was a lot for one day. We, we get what we can here. Okay. So if you didn't know, I do have one box of, and I, I think I went through eight boxes, but I have one box of fabric packs left. Over 40 plus pieces of unique and different fabrics to make junk journals out of. All sorts of cool pieces in there. You get a, a free old handwritten letter. This is a triple bonus. A free piece of vintage newspaper and a free small collection of vintage stamps. No code or coupon needed. Free priority shipping with that. And those are ready to go to be shipped and on their way to you. And then I also have Whoop, what else? I know it's getting closer to the holiday season. So um, this is a fundle, collections of old and interesting papers. Just interesting things that you're going to find 
um, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, music paper, dictionary pages, lots of interesting book pages, a whole plethora, 100 plus pieces, free priority mail shipping. Order now and my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, new audio material, but you can watch video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. And uh, you can actually listen to the video uh, podcast, or the audio podcast, anywhere you watch or, or listen to your podcast platforms. That makes no sense. Anywhere you normally listen to podcasts on those platforms, you can listen to the paper outpost. Um, I have an Etsy shop, uh, along with the um, kits that I showed you. When I have journals for sale, I do put them up in my Etsy shop. I also have um, digi kits, which are printable downloadable pictures if uh, five pages each on uh, are themed uh, for example this one is uh, pussy willow and um, you can print those out at home if you don't have a printer you can um, order my print and mail option all you do is order that and then send me a list of the 10 digi kits that you want send it to through etsy message or to my email address pam at the and I will print those off. You'll get 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. And um, that's free priority mail shipping with that as well for you. And I have an Amazon shop. And um, if you see me use favorite tools and supplies here, um, I try and put links into my Amazon shop for you. It's called the Paper Outpost Amazon shop. And you can just Google that. That's the easiest way to find it. Or I have all the links down below. And um, I also have a t-shirt shop. Um, but, but uh, I have a t-shirt top and if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything else is a craft supply until proven otherwise you can get that on a t-shirt a sweatshirt a zip hoodie a mug a tote or a water bottle and hmm I also have oh you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Twitter LinkedIn Facebook come and join our Facebook group we have a lot of fun doing the weekly and monthly challenges over there as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. It's called The Paper Outpost Facebook Group. And come on over and join us. It's a very, very inspiring place. Um, and thank you to all our admin and mods for keeping it a safe, happy, and healthy, and focused place for everybody to have crafty fun. And also, um, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.